Hey, what's up? So I've seen a lot of different videos showing useful 3D prints, and I love those videos, and I'm definitely gonna show you some of those prints today here in this video. But the other thing I wanna do is just highlight how useful a 3D printer in general can be. I just wanna give a little bit of a different perspective on it, especially if you're thinking about getting a 3D printer. I can tell you from having the experience of having four of them that What's probably gonna be the most useful 3D print you'll make will be just some like little knickknack thing around the house. Something that you won't even realize you wanna print until you need it and print it. Let me explain. Just this last week, that happened to me twice. So it's getting towards summer, we moved in a new house and we got this gas fire pit in the backyard that we haven't really been able to use. So we go out there to use it and turn it on and you need this little like key to turn it on. It's basically like a square little tool thing. And we couldn't find it. We misplaced it, didn't know where it was. So my two choices are to just never use the gas fire pit or to go get another key. So I was thinking, well, I guess I can hit the hardware store and maybe get it there. You know what, I'll just get on Amazon. I bet they got it for like five to 10 bucks. And this is actually what I was planning on doing. And then it hit me, oh yeah, why, why don't I just 3D print it? And I'm not talking about like actually creating some file in the computer and using CAD software. There is thousands of files that are online and they're all completely free to use. Thingiverse, I think has the most files. It's the most vast. Personally, I don't really like the search function on there. So I use another website called things.com that basically searches all these directories and will find the file and it just does a really good job of search usually it takes me to thingiverse but if i type in the same keywords it just seems to do better but sure enough i type it in and boom there's these universal gas keys that i can print out that would have cost me i don't even think it cost 50 cents i mean it doesn't take that much plastic but definitely under a dollar saving me time i don't have to go out and get it or wait for it in the shipping and obviously money now that i already have the 3d printer the other thing that happened to me last week was we lost a little attachment, this guy, for our Dyson uh, vacuum, and I wanted to vacuum some stuff, like get in the corner. So I was like, man, that stinks that we lost it. I guess I can like hop on Amazon, see if they sell just this part. And then again, it's like, oh yeah, just, what if I could 3D print it? Got onto things, type it in, boom, pops up. There's tons of them. So I think it's pretty remarkable that once you have a 3D printer, your thought process might start to change from where can I buy this, or I wonder if it's on Amazon, to first think, hey, can I 3D print this? Because if you can, it's gonna save you time, it's gonna save you money, and even in some cases, it's customizable, which can be really helpful. And this is what I wanted to highlight and why I think 3D printers are so amazing. And I think as time goes on and these things become easier to use and cheaper, it's gonna become more and more common for people to have them and eventually just become the norm. Here's a print I think a lot of people can find useful and appreciate because most people have a cell phone these days. And personally, this is my most useful print I've ever printed. The reason I say that is because I literally use it every single day. And it's just a docking station for my watch, my phone, and my AirPods. And it just helps keep it nice and clean and organized versus before I had all these wires and you know they'd fall off the desk and whatnot. So my next useful 3D print is a little bit unique. In the beginning I was saying all these files are online for free, but it's actually super easy these days with technology to create some customized things. Like what I'm specifically thinking of is like a customized sign. Now this might seem intimidating at first, but you can use something like Tinkercad, which it'll take you maybe 10 minutes of watching a YouTube video to know how to figure it out. And you can quickly make things like this. If you wanted to take it a step further, there's really powerful programs like Fusion 360, which I taught myself to make a little bit more complicated signs like this. But the print is just having the ability to make customizable signs. You know, maybe you're gonna do a little trade show or have a booth here, or you got like a wedding or throwing a party and you wanna make little name tags or whatever the case is. You know, this would normally cost a lot of money to have some third party create some customized, you know, sign, but you can just make it at home really quick for yourself, which I think once you realize you have the ability to do that, you'll find a lot of reasons to do it. A print I think most people can find useful because they usually have batteries sitting around is just a little organizer like this one I printed here that holds the AAA and AA batteries. Does it really nice and convenient. And you know, I actually looked on Amazon for one of these um, before I remembered, oh yeah, I could just print it. And you can see on Amazon, they sell these kits and stuff, but because I have a 3D printer, I got it super cheap and it's really useful. That's what we use to store our batteries in. And I have little girls who see the 3D printers, want to know what they are. I tell them, oh, it makes things. And of course they ask, well, can you make me something? It's like, yeah, actually I can. There is no shortage of toys. I got like little uh, shark to go swimming with them in the bath, ponies, dinosaurs, you know, tops that spin and stuff. Um, I had this guy, I don't know what happened to the propeller, but you basically had a little propeller, you pull and it flies off in the air. Some butterflies. Which one's your favorite?
Oh yeah? I like this one. That one was cool. What happened to the propeller? I don't know. Okay, well maybe I'll, I'll print a new one for you, okay? I keep this right here and I find it really helpful. You know, I've got my cutters, pliers for supports, these things which are just helpful with 3D printing, you know, some basic tools, so in case it gets clogged, a little acupuncture thing, you know, glue, just the stuff that you're gonna need with 3D printing. And it's all right here and I printed this. I actually did it with like a 0.8 millimeter nozzle and I can't remember the layer height, but it was big and it printed actually pretty quick and I was just amazed at the quality and how well this turned out. There's a lot of different tool organizing things you can print. This is just one of them that has been useful to me because I actually use it all the time and it's nice to have a specific place to put my stuff back because if I don't, you know, I leave this around and then I'm always looking I'm like, hey, where are those? And I just try to get in the habit of putting everything back where it goes. Some other tool stuff I use would be like these guys that just show you what, you know, what length screw it is, what size it is, you know, metric and imperial. Like little desk clamp stuff, whether you want a hook to hang your headphones or a little bracket or mount, stuff like this to hold your little SD cards. Little plastic things that you're gonna just break or lose, or even when you just need like a little, like you're building something, it's like, ah, oh, I just have a gap there. If I could just like put something there to fill it. It's like, oh, I'll just print a little like 3D piece of plastic, just a little block and boop, perfect size, I can get it down to the millimeter. The very first thing I printed was a useful print. I needed a pin shelf and went on Thingiverse, found it, printed it. This is when I didn't even really know what I was doing and it still came out great as you can see. And so I just printed a bunch more because I had some shelves that I needed pins for and I didn't want to go to the store to buy them and it worked out great. Ironically, a lot of my useful 3D prints are for my 3D printers. Like when I upgraded my extruder, I had to make this little piece here to attach it. Printed these adapters to hold these different fans I got for the Ender 3. My artillery, I had to modify a couple of things to make work for me. Like you can see, got a camera on there and then to add the BL touch, you had to print this little guy right here. You can see I uh, modified the filament runout sensor and even to attach this, I 3D printed printed the T-nuts to do that. And the amount of files that are available online to just download and print are only gonna continue to grow. So as time goes on, I feel like 3D printing is just gonna get more and more useful. To where even one day in the distant future, not anytime soon, but in the distant future, I wouldn't be surprised if most of the stuff you buy was actually manufactured at your house, was something kind of like what we call a 3D printer today, but you'll be able to download the file and then press, you know, maybe it's print or whatever, assemble, and this machine will be able to create, mold, and put things together of all different kinds of substrates to make a product, which is amazing because somebody could create something in Japan and you could literally have it in seconds, at least the file, which is the power of the internet and then just however long it takes to assemble it. And just think about how convenient that is. Like what if you bought a shirt, right? A lot of the nice shirts are made of polyester, which is a plastic, but you're a really tall guy and you just wish that it was just, just a little bit longer would be nice. Well, just do a quick little modification, add six inches in the middle and boom, you got your own customized shirt. That's a future that I'm definitely looking for to. Please like, comment, subscribe if you like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.